Hello and welcome to the video. This is a very quick video just for all of you Crossfire pilots out there that may be looking at or have already upgraded to Open TX 2.3.10. It's only been a handful of days and this was a little gotcha that a Patreon of mine actually let me know about. So this was a message that I got from Ulf. So Ulf, thank you so much for getting in touch and letting me know about this. Uh, 2.3.10 is a very new version of OpenTX, but it's one that has a huge number of improvements. If you look at the release notes, you can see lots and lots of things in here. We have support, uh, better color radio support for things like the Radio Master TX16S that I'm using, new module supported, so things like the Ghost module from uh, Immersion RC, things like the FlySky RM302, and there's absolutely loads of fixes. So this is an update that I'm probably going to do, and I'm one of those pilots that is a big fan of if things work, don't bugger about with them. But there's enough in here to warrant going through the update. Now there are two changes for Crossfire in OpenTX 2.3.10. One is that there is support for PPM centering, and also the big news is it now supports model match technology or rx num support for crossfire modules now what that means is that potentially we can now have it so that you can use model match with crossfire in the same way that we do with things like free sky receivers but the gotcha is that if you update you have to make sure that the receiver number for those models that you've already got on the radio is set to zero and that's kind of the default rx num that will still allow you to power up and to connect to everything so that's the big trick. If you are updating to through 2.3.10 and you are a Crossfire pilot, make sure that the RX num isn't random on the models that you're not going to rebind or use the RX num stuff on. Just set that to zero, it should work. In the new version of Companion, uh, from what Ulf was telling me, it does look like it actually warns you, gives you kind of a color-coded system to let you know that that's the case. But this has been catching quite a few new pilots out. It is interestingly mentioned in the TBS manual, and I flagged it to them this weekend as well. So hopefully that will avoid some of the other confusion. One last point, if you are using OpenTX and you are getting fun and enjoyment out of it, then do make sure you hit the donate button on the OpenTX project page. I'll put a link down below. It just makes sure that things like this continue to stay alive uh, because OpenTX is becoming one of those projects that the hobby relies on to keep innovating and making things better. So hopefully that's interesting for those of you that are were looking at the latest version of the OpenTX release. Definitely one that looks like it's worthwhile upgrading to. Uh, but if you do and you're a Crossfire pilot, be aware of RX num. It could, if it's not set to zero, stop the legacy stuff that you've already bound to working after the upgrade. Thank you for watching my video and watching right to the very end. If you want to find out what I'm currently working on, you can follow me on social media by searching for Painless360 in the usual places. If you'd like to become part of the Inner Circle, then you can become a Patreon. Details are in the description and you get lots of additional benefits. Check out the playlist section on the channel too. I organize all of my videos into playlists and it's called something like Introduction to or for Beginners. All of the content is aimed so that you can start at the very beginning and it teaches you that subject, starting with simple principles and moving up to teach you everything you need to know.